Hi everybody, Ezra Parzibach here, cannabis consultant. I help people understand cannabis. So you can find me on EzraHelps.com. Uh, welcome to my live cast. I'm going to talk about uh, why cannabis stops working or has the opposite effect for some users. Um, and I'll explain uh, what we call the biphasic or paradoxical effects of cannabis. Uh, this is essentially what this means is sometimes people use cannabis, whether it's an edible or uh, a uh, smokable, and they feel, uh, some people can feel tired and some people can f feel um, stimulated. Uh, some people, uh, I've had clients who actually feel like their symptoms increase so they can have an increase of pain, and some people find that uh, it decreases pain. Uh, anxiety is another one. Some people find, uh, in fact, the number one reason people say that they use uh, cannabis uh, medically is because uh, they feel it helps with their anxiety. And the number one reason people stop smoking marijuana is because they feel it increases their anxiety. So these are called biphasic or paradoxical effects. They can have both uh, uh, one effect and the opposite effect. And it's not uncommon. There are other drugs uh, that do this. Uh, you know, a common one is something like Ritalin, which is used to uh, calm uh, children. Uh, you know, they can use uh, Ritalin <coughs> for um, hyperactive uh, issues in small children, but then Ritalin is also used by college kids to stay up all night because it gives them energy. So, um, that is a paradoxical or biphasic effect. Um, so let me talk a little bit why this might be happening with cannabis in the body. First overview of the endocannabinoid system, the ECS. This is when people, uh, uh, or all humans and all animals, anything with a spine, has a endocannabinoid system. This is the system that's already endogenous to the body. It's inside of the body. It has nothing to do with the cannabis plant. Um, and we produce compounds and chemicals in our cells. It's a cell feedback system of communication uh, with our cells. Uh, the compounds from the plant coincidentally enter into our cells and trigger responses, just like our own endogenous cannabinoids. So one thing that's important to remember is, unlike many pharmaceuticals that trigger certain aspects of our body, the endocannabinoid system is vast. It's the largest one we have. So um, uh, as far as cell communication, so it's all over our body. And what they found is everyone has a unique endocannabinoid system. So some people, uh, you know, classically, they smoke pot once, they just feel great. It's clearly something that's meant for them. Uh, it, takes all their symptoms away, and some people smoke it and they just feel horrible. Um, the endocannabinoid system has a very unique and different response uh, for the drug. <clears throat> what we also have is that um, each uh, cannabis plant um, is contains dozens and dozens of cannabinoids. Um, some are active, some are inactive. We know about THC and CBD, these are the main ones. We also have CBN and THCV and uh, THCA and CBDA. There's many cannabinoids um, that we're starting to learn about, but the uh, vast majority of them, we don't really know what they do. They're in trace amounts. And so these all uh, combined make up what's called the entourage effect. And this um, entourage of chemicals, of cannabinoids from the plant, go into our body and have different effects. Um, they can have different effects depending on where they enter the body um, or how they enter the body. So this can contribute. For example, you could take a strain of cannabis that might be sedative uh, and uh, take it internally into your body and have a very calm response to it. Um, but then you could also try that same strain smoking and the smoking uh, is a rapid uh, uh, infusion of cannabinoids into your body, and it goes up into your head, and you feel anxious. You feel paranoid from that. You feel stimulated from that. So same strain, different methods of, of ingesting, and different response. <clears throat> I've also seen uh, the same exact strain grown in two different uh, soil mediums, two different locations. It is identical genetics, but when the plant is grown, uh, there's 
thousands of decisions that go into that uh, type of fertilizer, the temperature, the humidity, uh, harvest time and cure time. And then you give that same, perhaps uh, two flower tops from the exact uh, genetics uh, of plants that were grown in two different environments and they can have biphasic effects. Uh, one can be quite uh, anxiety provoking, uh, the other one can be calming. Um, I've witnessed uh, growers who uh, grow different types and uh, the although they're growing the same way, um, they might have different strains and they have different effects too. So it's just important to remember that there is a myriad of factors. There are hundreds of variables that go into cannabis and how we consume it. I like to use the analogy when we're talking about THC and CBD. THC, uh, my analogy is like calling the fire department. So for some people, you know, they have a panic attack or they have a migraine or they have chronic pain and they call the fire department, you know, they smoke some THC or they take THC into their system. It comes, sirens blaring, very loud, very powerful in the body. We feel it very uh, uh, obviously. We can feel THC. Um, CBD is more like a therapist. You know, you call your therapist up, they give you a talk, uh, and uh, it can be a positive experience or it might be a neutral experience. CBD can be sort of subtle that way. But these also contribute to the biphasic or paradoxical effects. Um, because THC, imagine uh, every time you have an issue and you call the fire department, well, what's gonna happen? Uh, you know, sirens blaring, giant red fire truck in your yard, uh, guys with boots clomping through your house, breaking windows, hosing the place down. Um, maybe they put the fire out, right? But that experience of the THC, your system is feeling that each time you take it. And your system after a while says, whoa, no more fire department. I can't handle, even though it's taking my pain away, I can't handle fire trucks and firemen breaking windows and, and going through my house. So a lot of people feel over time that uh, a strain or a method of ingestion with THC will start to feel um, more uh, intense, more stimulating. Uh, will not have the effect that they want. <clears throat> and this is what I call the self-regulating properties of cannabis, which is, you know, in our society, in our neighborhoods, we don't want the firemen called for every single thing. And in our bodies, we don't want THC put into our bodies for every single ailment. That's how uh, humans end up treating it like a pharmaceutical. And it's not. It is something that is designed to regulate the system. So even though uh, firemen are there and firewomen are there to help us, um, too much of them uh, can create an imbalance. Too much THC in the system, too much of the same type of THC, the same type of inge uh, ingestion method, or the same strain can actually shift over time. It tells the body, look, no more. The body says, yep, I don't want this anymore. And you have to learn how to listen to that in your body. It, it requires some intuition or requires an expert like myself to guide you through and help you understand what went uh, awry in your cannabis, your medical cannabis use. Um, CBD can have similar uh, uh, issues, uh, although it's more subtle. Uh, CBD is like calling your therapist. So your therapist isn't gonna come and hose down the fire in your house. <clears throat> But if you've been in therapy, you might find that, geez, sometimes you have a good session with the therapist, sometimes you have a bad session, sometimes you work with a therapist for years and you find that uh, you don't need them anymore. So just going to your therapist feels stressful and you want to be done with it. And CBD feels similarly as well. Sometimes people like it, it works for them. And then after a while, the CBD sort of tells the body, look, uh, you need to regulate on your own. If you take more of me into your body, you're just going to feel anxious. You're going to feel fatigued. Uh, you're going to feel like your symptoms aren't uh, working. And some people I've seen it, especially with my hypersensitive clients who are really sensitive to medication. Sometimes they get a reversal of symptoms <clears throat> or non-reversal. They get increased symptoms. So their, uh, their pain, their anxiety, their um, uh, sleep issues are exacerbated by both THC or CBD or the combination of the two. So it's really important to understand when something's biphasic. <clears throat> and a lot of this has to do with our consciousness. Cannabis actually 
uh, alters consciousness. It alters our whole body chemistry. And when our consciousness is altered, when the way we perceive the world is altered, uh, it makes us vulnerable to different perceptions. And cannabis is, has a very specific effect because we have so many stereotypes of it in our culture. So for example, I'll get a client who comes to me for guidance. Uh, she might be in her 70s. Um, maybe she smoked pot in college, had a really bad experience with it. If she is going to introduce medical cannabis to her system, um, and it might help her, say, for arthritis or, or arthritis or sleep or something like that, we also have to acknowledge that the context that she puts cannabis into is anxiety provoking. She is worried about it. She's scared that she might get too high. She's scared that something might happen. That context can have a biphasic uh, response in the drug. So even if the cannabis is meant to be sedative and calming and pain relieving, if she gets too much of it or the wrong type or if her, her attitude is uh, not uh, guided properly, then she can have a negative response. So um, that's why I really, uh, in my book, um, I talk about this, how dispensaries can help people by really educating their bed, bud tenders to use empathy and hear the story of the people coming in so that they understand that uh, perhaps smoking uh, feels scary for them or they've had uh, difficult experiences with cannabis and need to be handheld a little bit. Um, so I recommend working with a practitioner, find an expert. If you're somewhere in the country or the world where you don't know anything about cannabis, look up a cannabis consultant or someone who, uh, a bud tender you really trust because these biphasic and paradoxical effects of cannabis will never go away. Um, they, you cannot put cannabis in a perfect little white pill, swallow it and think that it's going to have uh, a perfect response. Just like you can't with pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals, uh, can have the same effect. Opiates, there's a study that shows that they can increase pain over time. So cannabis isn't alone in having a biphasic or paradoxical effect. It happens with many medications, but it's good to have an expert. That's what I do. Uh, if you know anybody who's curious about cannabis, wants to understand how to use it properly, uh, and needs a consultation, that's what I do. Find me at EzraHelps.com. Uh, thanks for coming. I help people understand uh, cannabis. And until next time, take care.